What is up, y'all? It's your boy Winston Wolf. I'm back. I just want to do a quick video. Yo, Batman. I don't know what else to say except for it's probably the best Batman movie ever. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, what about The Dark Knight? My problem with The Dark Knight is Batman goes to China. That's my problem with The Dark Knight. Because I felt like if you had a character like the Joker, especially that performance, you could have had Batman run into, and I'm talking about in the Dark Knight, you could have had Batman run into the Joker earlier on in the movie, have him underestimate the Joker, have the Joker throw acid, something on his suit to hurt him, but also to wreck the suit. Number one, that would give you a, you know, a good reason to manufacture another suit, you know, to sell action figures, all that kind of stuff. But number two, you could have laid Batman up for a little bit, have him study up on the Joker for because obviously they knew some things about the Joker from the end of Batman Begins. Um, study up on him, you know, get some wisdom from Alfred. Alfred, drop a couple speeches on him. You know what I'm saying? Give him time to recover. But during Batman's recovery and while they're making a new suit, spend more time with the Joker. Develop that character more. Have more, just more scenes with him. Because, I mean, come on. I, it's not like they weren't able to tell when they were filming the movie that Heath Ledger was doing an amazing job. So, but that's my problem with The Dark Knight is that whole going to China stuff. And I just felt that that was just, it just felt left field. It was just like, yeah, you're in Gotham and you care about Gotham and this. But now all of a sudden you're going to China and you're doing this thing with the plane. And like, what about the pilot of the plane when they did the whole Operation Slingshot or whatever it was to get him out of China? To get him out of the building, like, who was flying the plane? Didn't they ask any questions? Who? It was just some plot holes in it, and I didn't... That's what I didn't like about The Dark Knight, and that's why I think this movie, The Batman, is the best Batman movie. And if, one of the, another reason why I really liked it is it felt like it could have been from the 80s or the 90s. It almost felt like it was a movie from the 90s. I don't know, just, just something about it. Just that whole... You know, you know what it reminded me of is um, there's channels like Super Void Cinema, a couple other things. And like when you read about, you know, um, earlier superhero projects that never went through and just in your mind, you kind of envision it almost like a movie like this. When you see production art, it's almost like this bat suit and stuff like that. So this is almost like a Batman movie from like an alternate universe to where it didn't get made in a lot of universes, but it, it did get made. If you know what if you know what I mean, is this is just a a weird yet awesome cool Batman movie. I can't believe Warner Brothers let Matt Reeves make this movie. I was just telling somebody right after I saw it, I was like, "This is the best Batman movie, but it's not going to make as much money as any of the other Batman movies." I can guarantee it's not going to make. It's just that whole crowd that likes the Fast and the Furious. They're not going to like this. They're not because it's good because you have to think about it because I mean, not that it's, you know, um, you know, some Christopher Nolan level, you know, was a tenant or anything like that. But it's just, you know, what I'm saying it's not just mindless entertainment. This is actual art. This is like if you thought Nolan's Batman movies were down to earth and realistic. No, those are cartoonish compared to this. This movie Yo, The Riddler, The Riddler. This movie is seven. This movie is the movie seven, but with Batman and The Riddler instead of Brad Pitt and what's his name that was molesting the boys. What's it? I can't, not Gary Sinise. What's, not Lieutenant Dan. What's, uh, anyways, you know what I'm talking about. The one that makes the videos every Christmas threatening to, you know, expose the royal family. So anyways, the Batman, though, Robert Pattinson, that's probably going to be a lot of people's criticism of this is Robert Pattinson, just a one note performance through the whole thing. But I don't think people realize that this is going to be a three movie arc. That's why you got this version of the Penguin that you got, because he's going to end up being closer to what you know by the third movie. Robert Pattinson, you see just this depressed, angry one note young man and by the time the trilogy is over he's going to be a totally different character guaranteed if you watched the three even though matt reeves only did the second and third planet of the apes i believe if you watch that whole three-story arc of the planet of the apes that's where it, go, it goes from caesar's birth to his death and you get a, a lot of growth in between there pause but oh and you get the joker for a second for a second 
you don't really get to see because I don't, I don't think they've settled on any design for him. So they give you the Joker. They give you the actor who's playing the Joker, but they don't give you any reveal of what he looks like, really, or anything more than that, because I, I still think they don't have that hammered away yet. But, yo, the Batman, I two hours and 45 minutes, I believe well worth the time well worth the time when a movie is that good it is not too long pause uh i i just don't know what else to say like i said i could sit there and talk about the plot and everything but it's pretty much it's like seven it's seven with batman and riller but that that's not a bad thing it's an awesome movie it's to me i think it's right up there with winter soldier and the snyder cut of the justice league for the greatest comic book movies of all time. Straight up. It's just an amazing film. I give it 10 dog bones. No doubt. More than 10. A million dog bones. This movie... Matt Reeves. Stop it, Matt Reeves. What? Stop. Just the Batman. Come on now.